Flames, isn't it? it? It is. I mean, uh, you look at the uh, the first three games of the season, one nothing, 2 nothing, 2 one I was expecting 2-2 two -two and a shootout or an overtime for, for us. So, that uh, yeah, was good. I, I just thought, uh, you know, we I thought we came out really well tonight. I mean, I was, I was a little bit concerned. Uh, um, sort of the, the new year brings some strange games in the past. Uh, and I just, I just, we talked about making sure they're really focused for for this game, and uh, we're gonna have tomorrow off because we've had four, we had four games in the last seven days. So we just talked about, you know, let's make sure that we're we're doing the right things, and we did. And I thought we really took over in the second period. I, I want to say probably after about uh, about halfway through the first period, uh, and then all the second period, I thought we were we were excellent. They had, they, 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 we didn't give them anything. We stayed on the puck. We had lots of chances. And, we scored two goals, we probably could have had four in the second period. I thought we were real strong. Um, persistent on the puck, that, that reminded me of the Predators I know and, and, uh, and love so much is when they stay on the puck like that and, and um, support the puck and surround it. There was, you know, I'll watch the film, I'll see five guys in the picture all the time, and guaranteed. Um, Sergey, I guess you guys have been trying to get him to shoot the puck more. Three yeah. shots, three goals on this one. Yeah, I just said he had three shots. That's like that's like a ten games for him sometimes. It seems, uh, but he's shooting the puck. He's got a really excellent release, and it's uh, and we talked about him just using that, using that as a little bit of an offensive weapon, using it to to create offense. You know, not just to score the goal, but to to create offense. Just keep throwing it there. It's going to go in. And if it doesn't go in for you. It's going to go in for someone else. So. Uh, he's starting to get the message, so that was great. Klein's return gets a goal, but he really great defensively, four block shots tonight. Yeah, Kleiner blocked some big shots at, at important times. Uh, he obviously, the big goal, uh, it was really a great job by, uh, it was actually Borky, I think, got on the forecheck, separated a guy, you know, got the loose puck, and we got it back to the point. And, and Kleiner got the eyes up, and, and Borky went to the front, and had a real good screen. I, I, we, we made an emphasis on you know, the last couple times we've played um, Calgary, we haven't been able to get to make Kippersoft work hard enough, you know, just to find the puck. And probably did a better job of making him find the puck tonight. And, you know, obviously uh, we got rewarded. He made some big saves too. Right? I thought he was actually pretty strong. You talked about Klein sort of being without any energy last week when he started this game again. Yeah. I mean, where is he in terms of getting back? Did you see a lot of it tonight? Well, I think, uh, you know, he played uh, quite a bit of, quite a few minutes, actually, for getting back. And, uh, you know, I, I'm sure he'll be a little bit tired. Uh, you know, sometimes you get you get those, those flu bugs or whatever, and that just knocks the, you know, you know what out of you. And it's just hard to get your the steam back. So, um, you know, he practiced with us. He felt like he was ready to go, so we declared him ready to go and, and put him right back in the lineup. And, and it, was, it was good because they were, they're a strong forechecking team, and um, you know Kleiner, when he's at his best, he's going back, and, and he's, he's such a strong skater. And, and you know, from the penalty kill standpoint, he really does what he saw today: block shots. He, did, he uses pretty good angles. He's got a pretty good stick, and he's got the strength. You know, Kleiner's really put together quite well. His strength value and his explosiveness is, is real strong. And when he's on his game, he's he's, he's real valuable for us. Decision to scratch uh, Blum. Um, what sort of went into that? Well, I looked at our, 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 our team based on on uh, what we need in terms of uh, personnel. I just I just felt that uh, Bummer can raise his game to another level uh, in terms of a lot of a lot of mishap, so, uh, mis misplayed pucks, things like that. There's just not sharpness to his game. Uh, putting Kleiner, I felt would, would help us in that area. I think uh, Roman Yossi and Suits have played very well together. I mean, Helen and uh, Ellis have played very well together, so I just sort of put uh, uh, Bullion and Klein back together to show they played uh, you know, as partners uh, at various times in the last two years. And uh, Weber skating today, um, any sort of talk to him after no, that? No, there's no really update. Um, there's still uh, there's no timetable on that, so we won't have, we won't have an update until he's ready to go, really. Smith didn't play the last 10 minutes, anything? Yeah, no, I just, uh, at, at that point, I thought uh, uh, a couple guys were going really fairly well for us. I, I thought uh, Halas Chuck was, had lots of jump. And, uh, you know, thing, he, I thought he's played pretty well the last little while. And uh, as we got into the last five minutes or so, I just wanted a left and a right hand draw and most of 
put Smitty with, with Leggy there. Uh, I know Smitty takes, he's a right hand when he takes some draws, but Smithson's really our best right hand to draw guy, so I just want to make sure we have, we have that in the last five minutes, so, as it was 4-2, so. What did they do to, to get back into it? Make it a uh, they, well, they didn't do a whole, they didn't do a lot. Uh, a lot of it was us. I mean, you know, you look at the, uh, the couple of the goals, and, you know, we had a couple of icings, then we turned the puck over, then we, uh, we got beat back to the net. We just we lost a couple battles uh, to get it out, uh, and then we lost a couple battles uh, back at our net. And that's you know when you're you you know in the third period, just we still got to mature in that area. It, it, it seems strange. We're always in a three-two game, two-one game, and you know so guys just keep playing hard. When you have a four-one, you just even if you bring it down just you know two percent, everybody in the room brings it down two percent. You know that that's that changes the the game a lot, and uh, you know they they were going to have a little bit of a push, and if they got an early goal, they were going to be in the game, and you know, lo and behold, they got an early goal, and they were back in the game. So, you know, but we did it to ourselves. So we we, we gave up our, our our early goal in the, in the in the third. Then we then we sort of stiffened up and firmed up, and we drew a we drew a penalty, and then we took to the penalty, killed the power play. So. You know, we kept killing our any momentum we were trying to seize back there. So, uh, you know, we'll, we'll learn from it. Any special incentive not to have, uh, again, we got 500 in this building? No, nothing special. Just, I'll just tell you, the guys obviously don't yeah. want it to happen in these two. If it does, I mean, it's, uh, you know, he's a, he's a great player. 500 goals in this league. Is, there's not that many guys that have done that. He's, a, he's those power forwards that, have, that every team covets and they come around once in a once in a decade, decade for a franchise, just like you know, the top players for us, you know, the, the, the Weber's, the Sewers, and the Rennies, that those are those are franchise type guys that when they when they have great careers as, as Jerome has, you you applaud them, uh, but at, at the same time you you hate to have them all jump on the ice and and celebrate in front of you. That's one thing that you know that, that's the only incentive. Other than that, uh, he's going to get 500 and a lot more, and he's a great player. It's, uh, it's a pleasure to coach against them and watch them play. You got three days with no games, first time since opening week. Are you going to do anything different during that time? Um, well, we're going to take two more off because we have four games in seven days, and then uh, you know we got we got to get our power play back on. Yeah, we're we're not it's not really good right now. It's really been excellent for us all year. It's hit, hit, hit a little bit of a light spot, so that we can have a little work on. I right, take care. Thank you. Have a nice day.